Hey guys, Pekinoa's Meister here with Android Police, and in this video I'll be showing you some of the best weather apps you can download on your Android device. Just so I'm not too repetitive, all these apps have your standard weather features such as the daily and hourly forecast, precipitation, humidity, and wind speed. They also have an ongoing notification for the weather conditions and a live weather radar. Anyways, the first one is called Weather Live. When you first open it up, you'll see a basic summary of the current weather conditions in your area, and when you swipe up from the bottom, everything else pops up. You have your basic weather conditions along with the moon phase and the ability to track the sunrise and sunset. I really enjoy how it can show you the visibility status in your area for a nice or horrible drive. Or if you're into photography, you can see when it is a good time to shoot photos. The widgets are also good. Even though you can barely customize them, they do have a wide selection to choose from and still show you a ton of information in a neatly organized manner. What I don't like is you are limited to just one weather provider, which is Weather Live, and you can't use the live radar unless you get the pro version, which is a hefty $5.99. Luckily, the developer has a free radar and alerts app called N. OAA, which in my opinion is a better option as it can bookmark locations, includes weather information, and has a cleaner interface than the one found in Weather Live. For the design, it has a live weather background and sorts all the weather conditions in a well-organized manner, making it really easy to use. The interface itself is not material themed, but it's also not a horrible old school hollow, so it still looks good. Next on this list is AccuWeather. This has a simple layout, so it's easy to navigate through the app. You can also get notified when to take a jacket or an umbrella with you. There's no limit to the amount of locations you can add. The graphs are a nice way to see the daily forecast, and they can also show you when it's going to rain more precisely. These are all great features to have, but some of the unique ones that most other weather apps don't have is Minutecast, which gives you a minute by minute forecast including the rain or snowfall in your area. There's random videos related to the weather, and it supports Android Wear. The widgets are also customizable and look clean and simple. The only thing I didn't enjoy was that you are limited to just four widgets, with the first three looking exactly the same, just with a different colored background, and obviously you are limited to just one weather provider known as AccuWeather. If you get AccuWeather Platinum for $3.99, you can remove the ads, get additional 48 hour forecast, and 10 day forecast. Bottom line, AccuWeather is a great way to plan ahead. Weather Timeline is the only paid weather app on this list, it costs $1.49, and the only reason it has a price tag is because the overall design and customization is amazing. Animations are stellar, the way it presents its added locations is very creative, and it just looks a bit more modern than all the other weather apps found on this list. I really enjoy how you can change the look of the interface, icons, notification, and the alert sounds. It also supports multiple weather providers, Android Wear, umbrella warning notifications, and has some of the best looking widgets I've ever seen on any weather app with a variety to choose from. Um... What I didn't like is that you can only save up to 7 locations, and you won't get as many weather details as other apps such as Weekly Forecast. In other words, it's a simple weather app with an amazing looking UI, but not that many unique or detailed weather features. Today Weather is a bit more feature packed and it's free. While including the standard weather conditions, it also gives you extra details that some other weather apps don't have such as full text details on the weather conditions for the next 10 days depending on what weather provider you use, graphs, the air quality, polling counts, and more. It also has multiple weather providers, plenty of widgets to choose from but aren't customizable, and you can add as many locations as you'd like. The only things you may find annoying is that you can't change the overall theme of the app so it's always dark, and you have to pay to use the live radar feature. As for the design, the app presents all of its information on one page for each location, and switching to a different one is done with a simple left or right swipe. The icons and animations are also very elegant and unobtrusive. WeatherWiz is next on this list, and within this app you'll have a more googly feel with a cartoonish animated background that goes along with the type of weather you're currently having. It has your standard weather information when you swipe up on the screen, along with the ability to add as many locations as you'd like. But what really sets apart Weather Wiz is that it has a theme gallery to change the overall look and background. I enjoy the one titled Material the most. I also enjoy the wide selection of customizable widgets that you can choose from when you download more themes. Another advantage is that the live radar is the most detailed one yet, with a variety of different filters including the clouds, temperature, rainfall, wind, and sea level pressure. Not only that, but you can even see how big the ocean waves are if you're going surfing, or if you're going paragliding you can see how extreme the wind is and what direction it is going in. The cons of this app is that it won't give you the rain or severe weather alerts. I did find some bugs that need to be fixed, and once again you are limited to just one weather provider known as IBM Weather. 
The last weather app I wanted to show you guys is called Dark Sky. This is a great option because the overall theme and categorization makes it really easy to navigate and use all the features found within Dark Sky. The front page shows you an hourly forecast for the temperature, precipitation, wind, humidity, and UV index. The next page includes your daily forecast. Then you have a live radar, which I believe is the easiest one to use as you can see the entire globe. And lastly, you have an alerts page. This is what really sets apart the app as you can get notified when it's going to rain, severe weather, a daily summary, and you can even set your own custom alerts. What I didn't like is that the widgets aren't attractive or customizable. You are limited to just one weather provider and it's currently only available in the US, UK, and Puerto Rico. Anyways, that concludes the best weather apps for Android. Let me know in the comments which app you use for your forecast and make sure to get subscribed for more awesome Android content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.